freedom to celebrate the Lord's Supper. An interpretation of Jesus' commandment concerning the breaking of bread. The last time that Jesus celebrated the Jewish Passover meal with his disciples, he changed the breaking of the bread and the drinking of the cup, from a remembrance of the Passover lamb, to a remembrance of himself. Eat this all of you, drink this, in remembrance of me. Amongst Jesus' final words to his apostles, he instructed them. Go, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Immediately following Jesus' death and resurrection, his apostles made the breaking of bread a frequent activity for those who had repented and whom they had baptized. Those who were baptized devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. The new followers made this breaking of bread a part of their daily communal meals and worship, which they enjoyed in their own dwellings. Day by day, breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God. Neither Jesus nor his apostles, nor the New Testament ever confined the breaking of bread to congregational meetings, nor did they ever make serving the bread and cup a prerogative or privilege of church elders, pastors or priests. In the 4th century, the Roman Emperor decreed that the Christians must have chapels and clergymen. He put these in charge of the bread and cup, also called Eucharist, and made them into a church service, often sold for money. In the 21st century, followers of Jesus in every country are returning to obedience to Jesus' commandments, above and before all church traditions. Thus, you and all followers of Jesus have every freedom to celebrate the breaking of bread in your homes, with your family and friends, and in worship gatherings of any size.